Dear students, now we are going to discuss electric field due to charged circular disc in detail. Consider a uniformly charged circular disc of radius capital R with a charge density rho s. So in this diagram we are going to take a circular disc with the radius capital R and the charge density rho s. And also consider an annular ring with the radius small r with the thickness dr. For analyzing the electric field intensity, we are going to take a point P on the axis of this disc at a distance h from its center. Here this D represents the distance between the point and the annular ring. We are going to derive the electric field intensity due to this entire circular disc. For that first we have to analyze the electric field intensity due to this small annular ring. So here the small surface area can be represented as ds. At this point that electric field is due to the horizontal as well as vertical electric components but for this circular disc the horizontal electric field becomes zero. So we can have only that vertical component that is represented as EY. Okay. So let's start that derivation part here. The electric field intensity at a point P due to the annular charged ring is DE that is equal to rho S ds by 4 by epsilon d squared. As we know that that electric field is equal to Q by 4 by epsilon r squared. Here Q is represented as rho S and ds. For this small annular ring, we can use this formula, okay? The vertical component of the electric field at a point P due to the annular ring is DEY is equal to rho S ds by 4 by epsilon d squared into cos theta. Cos theta represents the electric field component in the y direction. So next we are going to substitute the value of ds that is the area of the annular ring is equal to 2 pi r into dr. So ds is replaced by the value 2 pi r into dr here. Then we can simplify the term. We can get the dy value is equal to rho s r dr divided by 2 epsilon d squared into cos theta. Consider this as the first equation. So next we are going to simplify this further by Substituting the value of this dr and d using this diagram. So from this diagram we can get the term theta value is equal to r by h. Then r is equal to h into tan theta. We need to find out the value of dr. So we have to differentiate both the sides. Then we can get dr is equal to h into tan theta means secant square theta. Correct differentiation of tan is secant square theta into d theta. Then we have to obtain the value of this d. For that we can take sin theta. So sin theta is equal to r by d. From that d is equal to r by sin theta. We are going to substitute this dr and d values in this first equation. Then we can get dey is equal to rho s r h secant square theta into d theta. That is the value of this dr. Okay. Then cos theta divided by 2 epsilon d is replaced with this r by sin. d squared means r squared by sin squared theta. Next we are going to move the sin squared theta to the numerator value and we can divide this r and this r squared. So we can have only r in the denominator okay. So next we can get the value that is dy is equal to rho s h secant square theta cos theta sin square theta d theta divided by 2 epsilon into r. So next we can use that formula that is tan theta is equal to r by h. From this we can write h by r because we can have h divided by r here. So we can replace this h divided by r as 1 by tan theta. That value is nothing but cos theta by sin theta. As we know that tan theta means sin theta by cos theta but here h by r that is 1 by tan theta that can be written as cos theta by sin theta. So this h by r can be replaced by cos theta by sin theta. So we can write that value like this rho s secant square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta and there is one cos theta 
sin square theta is there and this h by r can be replaced with the term cos theta by sin theta d theta divided by 2 epsilon okay then we can simplify the terms here cos square theta and cos theta cos theta sin theta here is the square term finally we can get dy is equal to rho s sin theta d theta divided by 2 epsilon so this is the electric field component in the y direction at the point p due to the annular ring that is small annular ring but we need to find out the total electric field due to the entire charged disk for that we can integrate this small value so here e is equal to integration from theta is equal to 0 to alpha dey that is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon integration of sin theta d theta integrate the sin theta then we can get minus cos theta limit is from 0 to alpha so here we can substitute the limit so rho by 2 epsilon into minus cos alpha minus of minus cos 0 so here we can write that value as cos minus into minus plus cos 0 is 1 so 1 minus cos alpha so this is what the electric field intensity at a point p Okay, due to the circular charged disk. So, electric field is equal to rho by 2 epsilon into 1 minus cos alpha volt per meter. This can further simplify by using that values. That is, we can take that entire circular disk diagram. Okay, so in this, the radius is capital R. The angle is alpha. Here, the distance is h. Okay, so then this side can be obtained by using Pythagoras theorem that is square root of h square plus r square. So from this cos alpha value is equal to h by square root of h square plus r square. We can substitute this value in this formula. Then we can get the electric field intensity due to the charged circular disk as rho by 2 epsilon into 1 minus h divided by square root of h square plus r square. Next we are going to find out the electric potential Due to this charged circular disk, the relation between the electric field and the electric potential is V is equal to minus D to 0 E into DX. As we know that this is the charge means electric field is outwards from this charge. But voltage is that is potential is towards this charge. Okay, so that's why we can have that value like this minus and also from the d to 0 towards the charge means d to 0 the limit can be given like this okay so minus integration over d to 0 e into dx we have to substitute the value of this e here that is rho s by 2 epsilon 1 minus cos alpha into dx we can take all these values outside and we can have integration of d to 0 to dx then we can get minus rho s by 2 epsilon 1 minus cos alpha into x with the limit d to 0 so here we can get minus d as answer so minus into minus plus that voltage is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon 1 minus cos alpha into d we can replace this cos alpha value as h divided by square root of h square plus r square then the d value is also square root of h square plus r square finally the electric potential Due to charged circular disk V is equal to rho s by 2 epsilon square root of h square plus r square minus h. That unit is force.